Hi guys. So we have something pretty neat here today. This is the Glock 19 Mariner, which is a Gen 3 Glock. You, uh, you won't see us do a lot of Glock videos on the channel. There's an obscene amount of Glock videos out there. Everybody knows what the Glock is. There's really no point on beating a dead horse with the Glock. The Glock is the Glock. Just because we don't do videos on it doesn't mean we don't like Glock. Tim and I, we, I love Glock. Tim probably likes them a little less, but everybody has their own preferences. Uh, but this one's kind of special, and I wanted to do a video on it, because it's not your typical everyday Glock. This is the Glock Mariner. These are made for military export overseas, and from what I'm gathering, and what I've read out there, this was ordered by the Philippine Navy, or at least the Philippine military, and they canceled their order at the last minute and Glock had 3,900 of these things laying around they didn't know what to do with it. So they opened it up to the commercial market in the U.S., which is pretty rare. You don't see this happen very often. So let's get into why this is different from a regular Glock 19. Uh, like I said, it is the Gen 3. It does have the finger grooves of the Gen 3 in there. One of the notable differences, of course, is that it says Mariner right on the slide. Uh, your typical Glock 19 is not going to say that. Uh, another difference, and I'll try to get it close up here so you guys can see, and just for safety reasons, it is empty. Just so you know. So, let me get it close here. You can see the Georgia proof marks. It is on the frame, on the slide, and let's see if we can, right there on the barrel too. The, your typical Glock 19 is not going to have those. There are some Glock 19s from Austria that will have Austrian proof marks on them. That, that is true, and that's, that's also kind of a rarity in a way. This is a US made Glock, of course. It has the Georgia proof marks on it. And another difference here is the rails. Uh, you will see that it is straight all the way across. On the regular Gen 3, I don't have one on me right now to show you side by side, but you will see at the very end it kind of dips down. It kind of pig noses, and this doesn't have that. And I really like that it's just a more streamlined look. It just, it looks like, it makes the gun look a little straighter to me. And that's just my personal assessment of it. It does come with 17 round magazines. They are basically just 15 round magazines with the Glock OEM uh, magazine extension on there so where you can add two. So it is a 17 round magazine that it comes with. It comes with three magazines. There are some sellers out there selling selling them with two magazines and I think they're just keeping one for themselves and selling it in their shop possibly. Who knows? But typically it should come with three magazines. One thing I did, I'm not really going, this is a collectible item so or it will be a collectible for sure. Uh, one thing that I did to it was I changed the back plate to an American flag style. Uh, to me, that doesn't hurt the value because I can always change it back to the original. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to do... I might do a few things. I'm not going to make it a Gucci Glock, but I, I might do a few things to customize it. But I'm not going to do anything that will hurt the value of it later on. Because uh, these things are pretty rare. They only made... Well, they've made many of them, but only 3,900 or so were released to the public, so. Uh, on the other side, it is your typical Glock fair, you, you know, 9x19 USA Glock 19. Nothing too special. It does have your typical Glock trigger pull, so let me rack the slide here. You have a little bit of take up. Actually, a lot of take up. Then you kind of hit a wall, and you got about a 5.5 pound trigger. With a fairly clean break, there's a little bit of creep, as to be expected with the Glock, and then a clean break. I may polish that up a little bit actually because I I really don't like the typical Glocky out of the box Glock trigger. So I might polish that up a bit and get it to be a little a little better. But I'm not going to throw any aftermarket triggers in this thing or anything like that. And that is pretty much the only differences. Well, oh, oh, I'm missing something. There is one huge, huge difference. Inside, it does have the Maritime Spring Cup. The Maritime Spring Cup 
um, basically allows water to flow through the channel of the firing pin without jamming up the pistol. So, or clogging up the pistol, I should say. So, you can fire this reliably underwater. You can empty mags underwater with this thing. Uh, it's really meant, it's not really meant for underwater use. How often are you going to be in a, a firefight underwater? <laughs> Maybe one or two people watching this video in total, ever. But uh, really, it's made for adverse conditions. Uh, heavy rains, monsoons, things like that. So, but it is a nice feature to have. And of course, you can get aftermarket ones, I believe. Uh, another difference, and it's not with the gun, is the box. The box, as you can see, as you've probably seen a little bit here and there throughout the video, has a green label on it. And that green label is specific for military exports. You will not see a green label on your typical Glock case. Generally, it's going to be a white label. There are a few other labels indicating a few other things out there. But generally, the public will see a white label for the most part, unless it's a police trade-in or something like that, where it was sent to law enforcement originally. Then you might have a different color label on it. But uh, you never see these green labels, and I think that's pretty neat. But yeah, I'm happy I picked it up. I mean, you can't go wrong with the Glock. The Glock is the Glock for a reason, right? Um, they're reliable. They, you know, Some people think they're ugly. Some people don't like them. I, I personally don't think they're ugly. I think they're they're dated, for sure. But at one time, back in the 80s or so, this was considered like the hot-looking new thing out there. This this was, wow, whoa, that Glock looks really cool. And uh, things have changed since then. Uh, slide styles and frame styles, they've, they've changed a bit, and Glock never really changed with all of that. They always kept their same MO, relying on reliability and durability, and just their reputation of being an ultra-safe, ultra- safe, ultra excellent pistol to have and it works for them they they sell a lot of them still and they sold this one right they sell a lot of them still and uh people love them and i can see why it's the size is great it's a great little compact size gun without going micro compact or subcompact i guess is the proper term for it but yeah these uh if you can find one out there i highly suggest getting one it will definitely be a collectible that uh, if there's any out there. When I just looked, I ordered this three days ago as of the making of this video, and uh, I paid, at the time of the making of this video, I paid $565 for it. Uh, I looked again today, just two days later, there were very few left out there, and I was seeing them on the auction sites going for $800,000 already. And they were not that high when I uh, when I originally purchased this. So it's already, as before the time I got it into my hands, it has already gained value as a collectible. Supply and demand. There, there's only a few out there. People really want them. I, I'm fortunate enough to have gotten one. Have fun. Enjoy. Stay safe out there shooting. Peace out.